you guys need to understand that elasticity means response in quantity demanded now if that response is due to a change in price it becomes price elasticity of demand if that response is due to a change in income it becomes income elasticity of demand samajh aa raha hai mangal if that response is due to a change in the price of substitute or the price of complements it becomes cross elasticity of demand if that change in quantity demanded is due to let's say sorry if that if that change is in change if that change is in quantity supplied then it becomes price elasticity of supply so i have written quantity supplied here as well but primarily i am right now focusing on quantity demanded ka right understood ab hum shuru kar rahe hain sabse pehli wali elasticity that is price elasticity of demand hum shuru kar rahe hain price elasticity of demand right price elasticity of demand kya cheez hai guys price elasticity of demand basically is a very important topic as well and basically price elasticity of demand is okay so first of all before i move on to the definition you tell me something let's suppose you have a clothes business let's suppose there is a student there is a guy mr moise who owns a clothes business so basically so basically basically mr moise he has a clothes business and mr moise decides that he is going to reduce the price of clothes by 5% assume mr he decides if he decides to reduce the price of clothes by 5% what will happen to quantity demanded obviously it will rise if you are reducing the price of your product the quantity demanded has to rise right yahi hum padh chuke we have studied that already but the reason question is by how much by how much will quantity demanded rise if this guy reduces the price by 5% we know law of demand has already taught us that quantity demanded will rise but by how much will it rise will it rise by 5% will it rise by 5% will it rise by more than 5% that is 6% 7% 8% 10% or will it rise by less than 5% that is 2% 3% 4.5% or whatever this is known as the response in quantity demanded and this is the elasticity elasticity of demand is basically measuring it is basically measuring by how much will quantity demanded response to a change in price it is measuring by how much it is measuring by how much quantity demanded will respond to a change in price for example let's say that farhan starts his business of clothing and he reduces the price of the product he reduces the price of his product by 5% he knows for the fact the moment he reduces the price of the product more customers will flow into his shop and they will buy more units of clothing because that is what the law of demand has taught us but he needs to know that if he is reducing the price by 5% how much more will people come what will be that response by how much will people respond by how much will people increase their quantity demanded for his product that is what he needs to know इस सवाल का जवाब कौन देता है इस सवाल का जवाब हमें प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड देती है इस सवाल का जवाब हमें पीडी देता है तो पीडी क्या हुआ बेटा पीडी हमारे पास बन जाता है इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस दैट इज द सेंसिटिविटी रिस्पॉन्स है सेंसिटिविटी है किस चीज की रिस्पॉन्स है गाइस इट इज द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड टू अ चेंज इन प्राइस इट इज द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड टू अ चेंज इन प्राइस दैट इज वॉट pd is all about it is calculated by a formula which is given as percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price you record ho raha hai please unnecessary sounds mat leta rana yahan pe everything is being recorded theek hai na it is only for you people i will upload it on youtube theek hai it is basically percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price for example farhan reduces the price of its clothes by 5% माइनस फाइव परसेंट का क्या मतलब है जोया माइनस फाइव परसेंट का मतलब है कि प्राइस नीचे आ रही है तो क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड फरहान की इंक्रीज हो रही है टेन परसेंट से प्लस टेन परसेंट का मतलब है कि क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज राइजिंग बाय टेन परसेंट 
if I divide 10% by 5% percent 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 cancel the answer comes to minus 2 the answer comes to minus 2 understood that is what PD is actually telling us now you tell me something all of you guys tell me this is a very important topic by the way you tell me something first of all let's break minus 2 minus 2 mein ek hamare paas minus ka sign hai ek hamare paas 2 ki value hai ye jo hamare paas minus ka sign hai na that is telling something else ye 2 ki value is something else pehli cheez to aap ye samajh le ke the value 2 is known as the coefficient it is known as the coefficient of pd it is known as the coefficient of pd the numerical value 2 is known as the coefficient of pd what is the minus sign representing here minus sign is representing guys the inverse or the indirect relation between price and quantity demanded why because we know that if price has to fall Farhan by 5% if the price has to fall then quantity demanded has to rise that is what the law of demand taught us there was a downward there was an indirect relation between price and quantity demanded when price went down quantity demanded went up extension of demand right Yeh, humne seeka tha, right so if so that is why the value of pd will always come in minus sign the value of pd will always come in minus sign and the value of pd that comes in a minus sign will always denote the inverse or the indirect relation between price and quantity that is being demanded so the minus sign is just telling you that there is an inverse relation between price and quantity demanded now obviously you need to understand if the numerator is greater than the denominator numerator mein kya hai quantity demanded mein kitna change aa or or denominator mein kya aa raha hai price mein kitna change aa right so if the numerator is greater than the denominator the value would obviously be greater than 1 Remember, whenever the value of PD is greater than 1, whenever the coefficient is greater than 1, what does it represent? It means that the product is price elastic. Whenever the coefficient is greater than 1, it means that the product is price elastic. Remember, whenever the PD is greater than 1, Whenever the coefficient is greater than 1, the PD is price elastic. Price elastic ka kya matlab hota hai guys? Price elastic ka matlab hota hai that elastic hai ye, elastic. Kya matlab? The demand is elastic to a change in price. Main ye bhi bol sakta hu. It means that the demand is responsive to a change. Elastic means that demand is responsive. Responsive kis cheez ke against hai? It is responsive to a change in price. Farhan ne price 5% gira di. Toh kitna response aaya sir? Response was 10%. The demand increased by 10%. That is showing that the demand is elastic. Why? Because it is increasing by a greater proportion than the fall in price. The price is falling by 5% but the quantity demanded is actually ends up rising by more than 5%. By how much? By 10%. Quantity demanded rises by 10%, which is more than the fall in price, which is showing that the response is elastic. Iska kya matlab hai? Iska matlab hai. Basically, if 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 you wanna express, if you wanna find out what minus two means, it basically means that a fall in the price of one percent would lead to a two percent rise in quantity demanded. This is what the PD value of minus two is telling you. The value of PD minus 2 is actually telling you that a 1% fall in price would lead to a 2% rise in quantity demanded. I could also say it that for every 1%, for every 1% fall in price, for every 1% fall in price, QD rises by 2%. That is what the PD value is telling you. Dekho, Simply a ratio. What is no? Ratta nahi lagana hai humne. Agar Farhan 5% price girata hai, to 10% zada log hai. Basically, it means that the quantity of clothes being demanded in his retail outlet will increase by 10%. There would be a 10% increase in the demand for clothing in his particular retail store. Which means that 10% more will be sold as well if he has the relevant quantity. Point what I'm trying to say over here is. That, lekin ye to price is 5% girai thi na. Lekin agar 
इट मीन्स कि हर फॉर एवरी वन परसेंट फॉल इन प्राइस फॉर एवरी वन परसेंट फॉल इन प्राइस द क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड विल एक्चुअली एंड अप इंक्रीजिंग बाई टू परसेंट डज दिस मेक सेंस समझ आ रहा है क्लियर हो रहा है इसका ये मतलब है अब फरहान को पता चल चुका है कि हर वन परसेंट प्राइस गिराने पर दो परसेंट ज़्यादा लोग इसके शॉप में आके कपड़े खरीदने आएंगे अच्छा जी लेट्स इरेज दिस सो ये सब आपने कॉपी कर लिया लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड और बेसिकली लेट्स ड्रॉ अ डिमांड कर डिमांड कर्व जो बनता है इलास्टिक डिमांड कर्व जो बनता है उसको हम बोलते हैं दैट इज़ शैलो यानी अगर आपको इलास्टिक डिमांड दिखानी है सो यू हैव टू मेक अ शैलो डिमांड कर्व राइट वॉट इज़ अ शैलो डिमांड कर्व अ शैलो डिमांड कर्व इज़ वन दैट इज फ्लैट एंड आउटवर्ड्स फ्लैट एंड आउटवर्ड्स का क्या मतलब है अभी इधर देखिएगा बहुत गौर से सुनिएगा जब भी आप इलास्टिक डिमांड कर्व बनाएंगे यू विल नॉट ड्रॉ डिमांड कर्व लाइक दिस दिस इज़ नॉट एन इलास्टिक डिमांड कर्व एन इलास्टिक डिमांड कर्व हैज़ अ शैलो स्लोप इट मीन्स दैट इट हैज़ टू बी ड्रॉन लाइक दिस दिस इज़ रिप्रजेंटिंग एन इलास्टिक डिमांड कर्व रिमेंबर दिस लाइक दिस द मोर यू मूव इट इन साइड द मोर यू ब्रिंग इट इन क्लोजर टू दी ओरिजिन और क्लोजर टू दी वाई एक्सेस द मोर इन इलास्टिक इट बिकम्स राइट द मोर इन इलास्टिक इट बिकम्स बट द डिमांड कर्व दैट इज लाइक दिस इज इलास्टिक द मोर इनवर्ड यू ट्राई टू ब्रिंग इट द मोर इन इलास्टिक इट बिकम्स द मोर आउटवर्ड यू ब्रिंग इट द मोर इलास्टिक इट बिकम्स डज दिस मेक सेंस ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है रिगार्डिंग हाउ यू आर एक्चुअली ड्रॉइंग द डायग्राम The more inward you bring, the more inelastic it becomes. Bilal, the more outward you bring, the more in, the more elastic it becomes, right? So you have to make a demand curve that is elastic. Make a shallow slope. The demand curve that is obviously elastic has basically a shallow slope. It is flattened outwards. Ab ye demand curve kya show kar raha hai? This demand curve is telling us extension kitne percent se hui hai? Extension ho rahi hai by ten percent. it is showing that a 5% decline in price resulted into a 10% increase in the quantity of the product which was being demanded now this but obviously you can see from the face of the diagram as well uh, farhan you can see from the face of the diagram as well that the demand is actually elastic why don't you think that this distance is greater than this distance right the quantity distance is much greater than the price distance the quantity increase is much greater than the price decrease right aise hi hai na so wo to hame graph dekhkar bhi andaaza ho raha hai ki demand elastic hai you don't have to calculate the numerical value for it the graph is telling us that the change in quantity demanded exceeds the change in price right the graph in its on its own is telling us that the change in quantity demanded is exceeding the change in price does it make sense sara samajh aa raha hai theek hai ji let's copy karte hain saath saath you have to copy all of this stuff theek hai ji moving forward what is elastic demand telling you what is elastic demand telling you zoya it is telling you that the response in quantity demanded is proportionately or relatively greater than the change in price it is relatively greater than the change in price because we know that if you reduce the price by 5% the quantity demanded rose by 10% right so how will you write it you will write it by saying that you know it is proportionately or relatively is the key word or comparatively we can say but a better word would be relatively or proportionately the proportionate change in the quantity demanded A lot of students would end. Ryan, a lot of students would end up writing by saying that the change in quantity demanded was more than the change in price. This maza nahi aayega is answer ko. You say that the response in quantity demanded was proportionally greater than the change in price because we are talking in comparative terms. ठीक है? Okay. Moving forward. वॉट आर द गुड दैट हैव इलास्टिक डिमांड ऐसे कौन से गुड्स होते हैं जिनकी डिमांड इलास्टिक होती है लग्जरीज की डिमांड इलास्टिक होती है वॉन्ड्स की डिमांड इलास्टिक होती है वो गुड्स जिनके बहुत सारे सब्सटीट्यूट्स होते हैं गुड्स हैविंग मैनी सब्सटीट्यूट्स उनकी डिमांड इलास्टिक होती है खुद सोचो खुद सोचो फरहान रिड्यूस द प्राइस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट बाई फाइव परसेंट 
the number of people that were demanding his clothing in suddenly increases by 10%. Why? Because maybe Farhan has a lot of substitutes and competitors. The moment Farhan reduces the price of its clothing brand, people who used to buy from other clothing brands, they switch to Farhan's clothing brands. So the more substitute Farhan has, the more substitutes he has, the more and the closer those substitutes are, the stronger those substitutes are, the more would be the change in quantity demanded if Farhan reduces the price. Because if Farhan has close substitutes, the moment he reduces the price, people will not buy from rival brands. People will immediately come to his product, right? And that is why the, the response in quantity demanded would exceed the fall in price. So when you have more substitutes, right, and those substitutes are closer substitutes, if you have many substitutes and those substitutes are close substitutes, then in that case, yes, the demand for the product is elastic. And we'll see, we'll see to that, that there are various other factors what makes the demand elastic, but we will study that later. But primarily remember that luxuries and wants have elastic demand, right? Uh, okay, moving forward. Luxuries, you know what luxuries are, right? Luxuries can involve maybe a luxury brand of a watch or maybe a phone. Let's now study inelastic demand. 